As many of you know, I've recently been making more of an effort to be better in the kitchen. I'm not trying to get to like a master chef level or anything like that and have Gordon Ramsay spitting in my mouth calling me a useless cow. I just want to at least be able to hold my own in the kitchen and know how to prepare a few dishes. And I'm proud to announce that after many failed attempts, I was finally able to successfully create some food. It was a fruit pie and it came out beautiful, spectacular even. Although I hate fruit pie, at least now I'm equipped with that tool in my Batman utility belt, so should a situation ever arise where it's life or death, you know, I have to bake a pie to save my family, I should be able to pull that off pretty easily. I could be like Muriel from Courage of Cowardly Dog and just knock that shit out of the park with a beautiful pie. All this being said, what I wanted to do today was try and create something entirely original here. I was initially going to make some kind of hot sauce, since I recently watched something on hot sauces, but then it hit me, like, I hate spicy shit, I can't tolerate heat at all, even thinking about a jalapeno sets my mouth on fire and makes my asshole quiver, so hot sauce probably isn't the ticket for me. So then I'm de I decided to go for something more like an energy drink, like a G Fuel flavor, since there's a lot of custom G Fuel flavors, I thought it'd be good to make my own little flavor here. And G Fuel themselves have been super generous, they put up a lot of the money for the prize pools that we give away during the tournaments we do on stream, so I thought it'd be fun to come up with my own little flavor of G Fuel here. I'm no like certified flavor scientist, so this is probably an illegal practice here of combining dangerous flavors together, but I think it's worth the risk. I'm not too afraid of the FBI busting my door in and shutting down my G Fuel meth laboratory so I think I'm just going to embark on this journey and hope for the best. I want to make it clear, I don't have like a custom G Fuel flavor or anything, and this isn't me making one. I just thought it'd be fun to hit the kitchen again and make some unique shit. Although I do have a code at G Fuel, which is code MOIST, and that, using that code gets you 30% off on anything on G Fuel's website, so if you're a fan of G Fuel, feel free to use the code. Now, I've already given it some thought on exactly what ingredients I'll be using, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. I've even come up with a really catchy name. Now, I'm actually taking a page out of Gwyneth Paltrow's playbook here, going in the same vein that she does with This Smells Like My Vagina and This Smells Like My Orgasm. My flavor here that I'm creating today is going to be called This Tastes Like My Nutsack. Welcome to the most magical place on earth, a place even Walt Disney couldn't capture the same fun of. It's my kitchen, the command center, first ingredient, lactate milk of course. I'm a bit lactose intolerant, so I'll be using lactate here. But for those of you following along with my recipe at home, you could probably substitute for any other kind of milk, even urine if you wanted to. Don't be afraid to freestyle. It's not a very strict recipe. At the end of the day, it's going to be very subjective what you think my nutsack will taste like. Everyone's going to have a different interpretation of how my nutsack would taste, so everyone's ingredients are probably going to vary a little bit from mine here. Next up, we have the classic 1-2 here, some grapes and some blueberries. I definitely wanted to capture a bit of a fruit-centered energy drink because I think those are typically the best flavors. And you can't beat the classic combo of grapes plus blueberries. Next up, I was looking for some raspberries. I thought for sure I had some in the fridge, but it turns out I didn't. I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe a burglar broke in and only stole my raspberries, but I substituted for the next best thing, which was raspberry Greek yogurt. I also grabbed some almonds, but that was just for me to snack on. That's totally optional for you following along at home. So with my four core ingredients gathered, my four elements brought together, and me being the avatar of all four, it was time to blend them. This was going to be my base, albeit not the final product, of course. I wanted to make sure that I had the exact measurements correct. So this was basically just a test run, making sure that my base was going to be solid before I started adding my secret ingredients and my chemical X in here. My technique in the kitchen is second to none, making even binging with Babish look like an amateur in comparison. Now the blender I'm using here is like 50 different buttons, it's like you need to be trained to use this fucking blender like you're a goddamn pilot of it. There's just so many options to choose from, like so many different speeds that range from slow as shit where you're better off just twirling everything around with your finger, all the way up to so goddamn fast that it sends your food back in time as it's fucking blending it. After blending, it was time for the taste test. It smelled fantastic, and I needed to cover all 10 trillion taste buds to make sure I got the optimal experience to bring out all the flavors. And to my decent surprise, it was pretty goddamn good. It tasted like Greek yogurt. In fact, nothing else. In fact, all I tasted was Greek yogurt. So I made a Greek yogurt smoothie, fundamentally. And that was good enough for me, so it was time to move on to my next set of ingredients, which was going to be spaghetti. I felt the spaghetti would be a really good way of boosting the carbs here to give you an even bigger kick of energy, and it would also help represent what my ball sack would likely taste after going to the gym. So it served a double role in this, and I really think it played its part beautifully. 
I'm using both sauced and unsauced whole grain spaghetti noodles, but I don't imagine the taste is going to change that much if you decide to substitute for other alternatives, you know, different kind of noodles. I also decided, fuck it, I'll just throw in a few almonds anyway, since they're just right here looking at me. They probably want to join in in the pool party here and have a little fun of their own, so I threw in a few playful almonds. I blended this bad boy again just to make sure all of my flavors were working together in perfect harmony with a great symbiotic relationship forming between them. I just wanted to make sure there was good synergy here between all of these to really bring out the umami of my energy drink. To no one's surprise, it tasted like Greek yogurt if I accidentally dipped a little bit of spaghetti in it. Not wonderful, not great, but no one ever said my nutsack tasted great. I wasn't satisfied with the protein content of my energy drink, so I decided to add some chicken in here, some grilled chicken, just that way you could at least get some nice nutrients going besides just a burst of energy. I then decided to dump a little mini cup of guacamole into this. My thought process behind this is probably pretty obvious, but I'll go ahead and explain it anyway. My idea was just to ramp up the calories a little bit here, just so that way you'd have a, you know, you'd have a little bit more bang for your buck. Honestly, by the end of this, it kind of became less of an energy drink and more of a meal replacement smoothie. If you were replacing your meal with a repulsive, you know, bit of sewage. After blending this for the third time, I figured this would probably be a good place to stop. This will probably be my drink's final form here. There's no Super Saiyan 5 or anything to my drink. This would probably be where, uh, where I stopped this one because at this point, you just start playing God. And you, you don't like the results here. I gotta tell you, the guacamole and chicken... They did not work together with the rest of the team. It absolutely ruined the taste of my nutsack and took it from the taste of my nutsack to the taste of my asshole. It is a, it, it just wasn't very good. But that being said, if you're following along at home, maybe you'd, maybe you'd find it more pleasurable and more enjoyable with your ingredients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we're fucking cooking.